pause you, bro. Let me welcome our guest, uh, Willis. How you doing, goddess? Goddess? Ooh, what the hell? The <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I apologize, God. That's fucked up. I'm like, what, do, right. what about the name Willis made you think of female, dude? That's exactly. wild. Exactly. Yeah. yeah <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'm, I'm trying to figure fuck. that part out. I can say it's a Willisia or something. That's it is a fun. sick move. You should greet every male <laughs> with that, though. Hit them with, like, what's up, goddess? That is sick, dude. Hey, hey like yeah, it. man. I, I apologize, man. One no weird shit, bro. I'm, I'm over here high as hell, but I'm just looking at you. I'm like, hell no. Nah. That's fucked up. Pardon the body, guy. You understand? But, uh, yeah, what's going on, though? Uh, nothing, man. I'm sure. What are, what are you high on? You got, you, you doing some fentanyl? You getting fucked up? Ah, uh, nigga, not that high, my nigga. That nigga say, you just said, what you house? So that nigga went to the worst of the worst. And they said, that no? He said it every single syllable like this. Yeah, dude. You guys don't uh, get down with it? No. I, I hit that shit one time right when I was in Des Moines, right? My homeboy, <laughs> he said, I got a perk 30. Now, me... I'm used to original Percocets. I know what a Perk 5 do. I know what a Perk 10 do. And a Perk 15. And I know the Perk 30, you got to kind of crack down because it could be a little bit too strong. But this <laughs> motherfucker came over here and said, I got a Perk 30, right? And I seen him smoke it. I, in my mind. That, that's the move. That's pretty cool. And listen, listen, listen. In my mind, I said, that ain't no Perk 30. But I tested it out my dumb ass anyway. So I smoked oh, you, it with my own shower, right? We smoked it. <laughs> he left, went home. I'm not going to lie to you. A day in my life. I was sitting there. I was sitting there looking like Ray Charles. I was sitting there. I sat down like I was in the gym. You know how you in the gym and you, in the, you were sitting on that wall with your back and shit, but you got your legs kind of open in the V? I was sitting there sweating my ass off. I ain't never sweat so much in my goddamn. I thought I was gonna die. That let me know. <laughs> never get drunk or high with white boys. Oh yeah, wait. Yeah, no, you should avoid it altogether. Did we smoke bongs and shit? You ever? You, you ever? Mo- I never drink yeah. Jack Daniels. Do that shit or do any other shit without the supervision of niggas around. Yeah, dude, don't don't go hang out with white people by yourself and try to get fucked up with them, dude. It's a whole different game. No. It's, it's, yeah. They will send you the fuck off. My first time ever doing goddamn, what do you call it, um, acid. Oh, yeah, dude, that's some white it's, people you shit. You do a half a strip and you, <laughs> if your ass don't give me a $5 piece worth, the fuck, I'm scared. Yeah. I did that $5 piece worth, right? They try to keep on saying, now nah, you ain't gonna feel shit off that fuck you. I did that five dollar piece worth. I swear I never heard sound like I heard it again. <laughs> Everything sounded very clear. <laughs> I that he never heard sound. This nigga's crazy, man. You ain't heard sound until you off that shit, E. Yeah? <laughs> nigga, you be sitting there listening to motherfucking anything. Like, man, that shit sound oh, clear as so. fuck. <laughs> that shit sound, that shit sound perfect. <laughs> you gonna what's be the, thinking like, damn. Hey, what's the current? What, what, oh, go ahead. Was, yeah. Play this message. This nigga got me crying. That nigga say. <laughs> He ain't saying that. I can't that. hear him. Well, it's very faint. If it said, do you hear something? Shit. He was speaking to us from the other side. Like, it was very faint. It was there. I got headphones in, but it was it was very far away. That's cool, though. Mm-hmm. That's, that's cool, King Gigi. I like your style. But yeah, no, yeah. Dude, you, you guys rule. You guys are, like, the only two cool dudes on here. Actually, I've met some cool people on here, but, like, it's uh, a lot of angry people on this app nowadays. Well, yeah, they bro. Come, they yeah. shit and get they shit off on you. But we See, we come here somewhat like that, but not really. No, I mean, nigga, 
Hold on, don't put me in there, brother. Cause I'm the I call myself great O the hood psychologist. Okay. So I'm I'm the motherfucker that you can talk to. Dude, if, you're going, Dude. if you're going through some shit, you understand to try to help walk you through that motherfucker. Or you know what I'm saying? I got this question I call the greatest question in the world that I be liking to ask people to uh yeah, you know, connect with a motherfucker that uh, way. Him, so. Hit me with it. What's the question? That I got the greatest question for you as well as a hood cigar. Ooh, so go ahead. Let's get it. Okay. So the question is, why was your ex with you? Now, the bonus is you could pick anybody you ever fucked with. I just want to know why they was wasting their time with your ass. All right, so we'll do my most recent one. The relationship ended after seven years. She started being with me because I was cool as hell selling cocaine. I think that's why she was with me. I was just cool as hell selling cocaine and Xanax. And I was like, that is the appeal. And because I beat up one of of her ex-boyfriends. Yeah, no, acid is cool as hell. But uh, yeah, no, I I, I beat up one of her ex-boyfriends. So I think that shows dominance, you know? Yes, sir. I think that that's like something as well. I think it was ingrained in her brain, like this dude kind of rules. So, yeah, yes, uh, yeah. So I mean, until that's, that's that, until that attraction wore the fuck off. Well, yeah. Well, it it actually wore off in a crazy. Well, we actually had sex last week, so I wouldn't say it wore off listen, completely. Listen, just but, because yeah. a woman give you some ass doesn't mean you win it. Uh, you I mean, be, you could be in the worst spot. The worst is you could be in a spot where she like I'm ready to set him up and kill him tomorrow. <laughs> they she, will fuck the shit out of you. She 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 <laughs> tried to kill me once and it was very funny because she she realized how weak she is. Like she tried to push me down the steps and it was just like it was the equivalent of like, oh, the, the, like the wind the wind blowing pretty hard at your back. You know, like I was just like huh, like I barely moved and I look I just turned around and looked at her like did you just try to do that? Like that's fucking look, crazy. I need us men to understand. And a lot of men are going to disagree because they still tender dick. And then we have some type of love in some type of way, whether we want to admit it or not. But I'm going to say, these motherfuckers, excuse me, these individuals are selfish. They are incapable. I didn't say it's hard. I didn't say it's impossible. I said incapable. Yeah. Don't care about anything outside itself. Definitely incapable about, about loving him a, a man. So the question of this show is, do you know how to keep a man? Now, listen, I, I, I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask you what I have to ask my friends right here. Uh-huh. Before the women come. Hey, now, hold on, hold on. Wait, are, wait are, you, are you a homosexual? Is that what I'm Not picking up all. on? Uh, okay. Because that's the only other cool dudes I've met on here are black homosexuals. Those are the only I other cool it. dudes I met on. Here, so. I'm just one of them guys that got tender dick control. <laughs> wait, 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 what did you call it? What did you refer to it as? Tender dick control. What's, what's that referring to? knows how to, to get that? women to behave. Oh, uh, okay. I like, wait, so it's like that Nick Cannon joke if you got that good dick, though? Is that what you're saying? No, dude? it ain't even my dick. I want men to know dick is 10% of the equation of sex. 90% of sex is foreplay. Oh, well, I'm going to say, as someone with a pretty decent package, I'm going to say dick is more than 10% of the, of no, the show, they dude. Was <laughs> they were so cute. All these women go on, go on Facebook or Instagram. They would say, yeah, it could be big, but they don't know what they do doing with it. I'd rather take the dick don't do shit. Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I could just lay back and let a girl get on top, and she will come. Like, it's not a problem. Would, like, she will find a way to... Like she, there's like they it's. Will use, they will rape you. Like, like you think. Whoa, whoa, like whoa! That movie that just came out with um fucking uh, yes, what's uh... Name, Jeffrey Dahmer. These women are Jeffrey Dahmer. They they Jeffrey raped. Dick. Wait, Jeffrey Dahmer got raped. No, he raped people. Women uh, rape men. He ate You've people too. That's pretty cool. Eating people. It's pretty sick, right? Or is You've that just me? By women. Uh-oh. I, I was probably raped as a kid. I know women. I know women that. I know a woman. I know women that want to kill you, but would ride your dick. That nigga said him. you probably was, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so ride your dick back and forth, 
and bust off your shit. And after they get their nut, you would turn into the motherfucker they hate again. Oh, yeah. No, for sure. Chicks suck. Is that what, wait, is that the narrative? Am I allowed to say that on here? Am I going to get in trouble if I say women women suck? Am I allowed to, am I allowed to be like... I'm right, not cool. here to judge. 